the discovery of medicinal cannabis. The history of medicinal cannabis is an incredible journey into the past, where we realize that many of the discoveries we make today about the drug's effects on various ailments were already described long ago. Episode 1, Unveiling the 1800s Discovery of Medicinal Cannabis. Let's delve into the history of the Western world's discovery of the medicinal potential of the cannabis plant in the 1800s. It was a time when hemp was primarily cultivated in the Western world to utilize its fibers for textiles and fabric. But everything changed in 1839 when William Brooke O'Shaughnessy, an Irish physician stationed in the Indian province of Bengal, discovered the medicinal properties of cannabis. As a professor of chemistry at Calcutta Medical University, he published the article on preparations of Indian hemp or ganja. O'Shaughnessy observed that the Indian population used extracts of the cannabis plant for recreational and medicinal use and became interested in the plant's medicinal properties. He tested the drug on different patients to experimentally test its effects on various ailments, tetanus, rabies, rheumatism, etc. Most patients improved their conditions, and several could leave the hospital with fewer complaints than when hospitalized. However, he also describes hopeless cases, such as a rabies patient who improved his condition, but died of the disease shortly after being hospitalized. Of this experience, he writes that he would not dwell on the hope that cannabis could one day be used as an actual cure for rabies, but that the practicing physician might still appreciate having a drug that would enable him to sprinkle the road to the grave with flowers. O'Shaughnessy thus appreciated not only the healing, but also the palliative effects of cannabis as a medicine. The students at the University of Calcutta became highly interested in O'Shaughnessy's work and began testing the cannabis extract on themselves. In small doses, the drug produced generally consistent effects in the students. An increased pulse, a bodily glow, an extraordinarily increased appetite, a mind filled with vivid thoughts, an unusual talkativeness. And with almost no exception, it also acted as an aphrodisiac. O'Shaughnessy encouraged the medical world to conduct studies that could confirm or deny his claims. However, his expectations did not match the outcome. Stay tuned for the next episode of The Discovery of Medicinal Cannabis, 